What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of Bart and Geo. Ha ha ha. I oh, knew God it. Damn it. <laughs> Bart and Geo's Bellcast. Bellcast. <laughs> I didn't want you to think I was going to do the. Well, I wanted you to think I was going to so that I threw you off. Oh, fine. How well, are my levels? Did. Mic check one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Good. Okay. Kick freestyle. Go. Mm, mm. <laughs> this is a funny morning. Cause I don't know. I'm horny. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. It, I wanted to bring what in. What did the, you rhyme? You rhyme funny and morning? Yeah. Well, horny, morning and horny. Oh. Um, and classic. I wanted to do the the stereotypical stereotypical rapper ha <laughs> ha in the yeah. beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted like to, people to think it's like I don't know. I think life's a joke. So that's how I was trying to laugh. I, but. I really wish they had like a real laugh though. Oh, like, 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 like the gut laughs? Yeah. Like where you, you can't even breathe and you're like. <laughs> yeah, like kick a, kick a beat for me. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, chicka, boom. Boom, um, boom. And then they start the song. Like that. I like how fucking girly my <laughs> my beat sounded. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> it sounds like fucking like a island. Casio keyboard or something. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like the it was like the like the toddler music version of the Tupac changes. Oh yeah. Boom, chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom, 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 chicka, boom. What the fuck? You're supposed to? I see no changes. Oh, and I see those. And still, I see no changes. Everyone to come on and take a blast myself and just come and come out for self. Yeah. 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 That's funny. I like this jacket. Thank you. You look very nice. Thank you. Um. So yesterday I was talking to my mom. Yeah. And uh, I've been FaceTiming her. I try to FaceTime her every day because she's uh, she's kind of by herself. Like she lives really, 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 really ridiculously close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's that from? Ridiculously good looking house. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of, from Zoolander. Yeah, I just heard I heard yeah. Zoolander in my head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and um, but she's still by herself because she chooses to be, and she's like quarantined and stuff. Yeah. But every time I talk to her, I can't help but be like, "Damn, man, I wish I was like living back home, like during what? this time." Yeah. Like you want to live with her or her to live with us? Me live with her. Me live with her because I had so many good memories at home that I start thinking about like. What I was like in junior high yeah. and like high school, because I don't yeah. really remember much of elementary school, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know, maybe some traumatic shit happened that like I put that shit away in my head and yeah. I can't for the fucking life of me remember a bunch what of things. What about when you see pictures? Do you go, oh, I remember that tricycle? Yeah, 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 or... then I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I do. Is that normal? I think so. Okay, okay. So so then I start thinking about all like the memories that I've made there, like the fights me and my brothers and sisters had and stuff. And then I can't help but think like in the front house specifically. Just uh, just that whole property. The whole property. Oh. Yeah. Where I'm just like, man, I really miss being a kid. Like I really miss being and and a kid I'm classifying it as obviously as soon as I start going to school until I'm like about maybe even a freshman in high school because i feel like after i was a freshman or like the latter part of my freshman year in high school i was not a kid anymore i think i, I feel was... like for me the kid age stopped at like junior high really oh because you're like mega latchkey kid yeah i think like the minute i think like um... here comes fucking sad part again <laughs> God damn. No, i just think like for, <laughs> i think for me like the minute uh, your I'm mischi- kidding, by the uh, way. Fine. I think the minute your mischievousness, <laughs> at least for me, mischievousness turns from timeout to actual, like, almost legal type repercussions. That's oh. when you, like, you know, before it's just like you disturb the class, timeout, stay in during recess, whatever, right? When you start getting, like, suspended or you start getting expelled from school, yeah. you're like, wait. But you didn't is- feel like any sort of, like, um, like protection where you were like, I ain't going to fucking prison. Fuck you, dirty cops. And you spit on them. But like in your mind, you were you're like, I'm okay, I'm gonna probably go to Juvie, whatever. I just never thought I was gonna get caught. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not thinking I catch me, how they can catch me. But that's pretty kid like behavior, like where you feel invincible. Yeah, but I think for me, like even knowing that limitation, that's that's when I feel like shit already got too real. You know? Mm. But like Taika, he's not playing and going. Damn, am I gonna go to jail? Right, yeah. He's just gonna go. Oh no, mommy's gonna turn the turn the TV off now. Yeah. You know? 
Okay, well, damn. Well, mine was pretty innocent. Really? <laughs> yeah, because so you I was felt just, like you're a kid all the way until you're 15. For sure. Wow. Yeah, for sure. I felt. I felt like. I mean, I was so sheltered. I mean, so were you. But but I just didn't have the curiosity that you had. So I think that's what kind of prolonged my childhood a lot. When's the first time you tried a cigarette? First time I tried a cigarette. Um, or drank a beer. Well, beer doesn't count because like, You're I feel Mexican. like, yeah, I feel oh, like every minority gives their true. kid beer like just because they know the kid's going to hate it. And yeah. it's funny. It looks funny. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I had my first beer when I was like in elementary school or something. I didn't have the whole thing because I like yeah, yeah, my yeah. dad would drink it out yeah. of a can and stuff or bottle, whatever. And I was so curious because yeah. like he would always share everything with me and this particular thing he didn't want to share. So I'm like, come on, let me try. Let me try. And he goes, you're not going to like it. Yeah. And then I'm like, come on, trust me. I'll like it. And then I tried. I'm like, yuck. I think I tried like wine when I was like uh, in second grade. I mean, we, we grew up Catholic, so we were all drinking wine. No, I mean like some real liquor wine, like some rice wine shit, not like red wine. Oh. Because it's even stronger. It's almost yeah. like, like a whiskey. My, my grandpa dipped it on a chopstick because I really wanted to try it. And he put it on my tongue. And I remember going. What's that face? <sighs> just like, like, you know, when sour? it just starts burning like crazy. Oh. And you're like, and you start getting goosebumps. And you're like, oh, what is this? Maybe at that point you turned. <laughs> I turned? Yeah. Like what do you mean? Like your little bad mischievous blood cells. There's good ones and then there's bad ones. And then the bad ones were like, oh shit, I like this life. And then Maybe. that that's when you turned into like a little butthead. I think I was always a butthead to be honest. Really? Were you like Taika butthead? Because he's a butthead. I think so. I think I've always been like, this. Just, the, just the stories that I hear, it always sounds like a precursor to being a butthead. Damn, but dog. Heads, but, but head type tendencies. I'm kind of jealous of that. How like your parents or at least your, I mean, yeah, your parents just have, because you're an only child, like that's the perk of it. They have good memories or they just have a memory of like your specific upbringing and childhood. Whereas for me, my mom will tell me some shit and it's funny because she'll just be like, <laughs> <laughs> she'll be like, uh, she'll be like, yeah, you remember like when you, when you were going to that, but like, uh, I don't know when you were going to that like art school and then like your little friend did that. And I'm like, no, mom, that's not me. That's whatever, you know, like that's my sister. The other sister, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, or, or I'll be like, hey, mom, how was I as a kid? And she's like. I don't know. Like, There's remember, too many of you. Remember guys. when you used to like bench press in the front yard? No, like, uh, no, that was my brother. <laughs> that's the most Mexican <laughs> stereotypical shit you said. What, bench press in the front yard. Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't have weights like that. My brother played golf, bro. Oh, fine. Um, yeah, but she'll say shit like that. Does that and make I, you feel bad? Do you, do you go like, oh man, how come you don't remember the memories correctly? Um, yeah. Because yeah. it makes you feel like you're not special, huh? Um. I try not to dwell on it like that. So if I really have to sit there and think about it, yeah. Yeah. And, I, and I've always had, like, it further validates this feeling that I've always had my whole life that I'm just this average person at everything. Like, I just feel like I'm just right in the middle of, like, not really good, but doesn't fucking suck. Like, she's just average. What if you put yourself in your mom's shoes and she's like, why, why couldn't you be a more unique child so I can actually remember your memories because they're so fucking boring. I had to replace them with your other siblings' memories. I don't know. I don't, I've heard her say that before. No, she hasn't. Yeah. Shut up. We're, we're hanging out. She's like, Jill's like so fucking boring. I always remember everyone else's memories for her. It's actually quite the opposite what she says about me. She says I'm very unique. Oh, she really? says that I'm, um, I was like definitely the standout of all three How of us. How come she can't remember your shit? Maybe she's boring. Or maybe, maybe she was just old as fuck. Because you got to remember the age gap between my brother, my sister, and myself. But your your mom's the same age as my dad. Yeah, but there's a huge age gap. So there's like, my sister and I, we were 15 years apart. So my sister was already 15 when I was a little baby. Yeah. So by the time I'm like a little bit coherent and can have some sort of conversation, I have to be like five. Shouldn't she remember so your memories even better? Um, like if Taika had a little brother right now, right? And yeah. they're only one or two years apart. Like by the time they're both like, I don't know, eight and 10, we're going to be like, oh, remember when uh, Taika w went, learn how to swim? We're like, oh no, was that Taika or was that Daika? And then we're like, we're not going to know. Which <laughs> it's one. Baika, baby. Oh, Baika. We're not um, going to know that Taika or Baika did what, you know? But if they're further apart, you're like, clearly when Taika was five, this guy was just born. Like, we, okay, we know the difference. Oh, I see that logic. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Because then like if they're closer in age, like kind of my sister's kids. Yeah. It's like, like how's they're your only mom? month. They're only a few, not a few months apart. That sounds so wild, but they're not even a full year apart. Yeah. Like how is your mom going to uh, mix up your sister's memories when your sister yeah. was driving? Right. 
versus when you started driving. Like the cars are weight. Your sister probably drove like a freaking 64 Impala. <laughs> and then you're driving, I don't know, like a, some other car. We didn't own fucking Impalas, you fucking shitbag. Well, she was probably driving like some sort of low rider. <laughs> and then your car was way different, you know? Like no. you can't mix those up. Yeah. But if they're really No, close, I think she mixes can. me up with um what she does because she'll mix up our childhoods. Damn, your mom's just But nice. they're not that crazy. Like it's not like um I think who would be one that would be pretty crazy? Maybe if like my sister was born, like my older sister was born now and then 15 years later, that would be a great that would be a huge difference. And I think she would mix it up. But yeah, she still does it somehow. Does she mix up other memories? Is she like memory dyslexic? Mm, just her memory is just going. I mean, just her mind is just kind of slowly leaving her. Oh. <laughs> she just has hard time like uh, remembering words. Like she's trying to tell me a story and then she just gets stuck on a word. And I'm like, so I, I like put a bunch of like brain games in her phone. Yeah. And she likes playing this fucking non-stimulating non-challenging fucking slot machine because she loves going to vegas and she loves like slots yeah i don't know what fascination she has with slots because the odds are fucking horrendous yeah um but she still likes it so she doubts she has that game and she, she plays that all the time and i'm like and i'm so fucked up i should probably be softer with her but i'm like mom this is not helping your fucking brain i don't say fucking brain i don't cuss at my mom but i'm just like this is not helping your memory like come on you got to do all the other stuff and she's probably like shut up you fucking the minute uh, slots turned from the manual one to like the g digital one it lost the magic for me why like when when um you know when you pull on the latch yeah and the thing's spinning right yeah there's this like luck of the draw feeling that i get yeah it's like you're getting dice like craps you're manually going like this and you're manually rolling it right yeah and then so it's like the physics the gravity it's like really like like spinning the bottle. Yeah, there's so many factors now and it's not like already pre-calculated. Yeah, but the minute it it's a is. computer, I'm like, someone programmed this. Yeah. There's an algorithm. There's there's a certain things and I'm like, when I'm hitting this and it's spinning, I'm like, okay, tell me what the hell the program's gonna do. You know, yeah. so it lost that magic. That's how I am with um with games. So I'm playing a game. I mean, I play several games yeah. online or whatever or like apps. Yeah. Um, And as soon as it goes into an app, I'm already thinking because I have some sort of marketing background and some sort of business background where I'm like, this shit's biased as fuck because they are obviously trying to get you to spend money, right? Like yeah. all these apps that are free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to burst. I mean, no, they have like the, the upsells later or something. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, oh, you want the special weapon? Then this is how many coins you have to collect, which are kind of impossible. Or you can just skip that whole thing and you can pay $2 and they make it some affordable ass shit. Like you can pay one ninety nine right now and get whatever lives but the minute it pops up it pisses me off yeah me too but like it kind of loses the magic of the game because like you where i'm like if if i can play it and it doesn't have all these like upsells and stuff then i feel like i really do have control of like the the destiny of my character yeah but when it has these upsells and it has all these other things these strategic things to like at this point like we know the human psychology is going to be like they're hooked you know, yeah. like if they play past level 20, then they're definitely hooked. If they um, if they uh, as soon as the game is over and they plus restart with an X amount of seconds, then that means like they're really you know what I mean? Like yeah. I feel like there's so many psychological things that they that is already calculated in that that I feel like it's not me anymore. Yeah. So as I'm playing it, I'm like, watch, like I'm already kind of predicting the patterns. I'm like, OK, so I need to win this one, but I already know that it's around this phase. So I feel like what's going to happen, I'm not going to get the thing that I want, that I need to win it. And then I'm going to charge you for it. Yeah. And then I'm like, and then sure enough, it happens. It could probably be, I could be making all this shit up and I can, it could just be like uh, a coincidence that it happens like this, but it's happened too many times where I'm just like, I don't know, this shit is a little bit rigged, but I still play it because I'm just like, it's still pretty fun. Yeah. 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 No, I think after a while, there's a pattern. There's like a basic pattern. I hate up. that. And then I start thinking, so I hate like conspiracy shit. Like I shouldn't say hate because that's such a strong word, but I really dislike it because it opens up my brain to receiving all this other conspiracy or potential conspiracies that I'm like, what the fuck is real? But those aren't even conspiracies. Like there's certain like certain like strategies and patterns that are just innate that i can just see it like like you know when you go buy a car right you get the newspaper and it goes silverado for twelve thousand dollars and you're like what no way 
So you go there and you go, let me guess. Before you even talk to the guy, you, you go, let me guess. We sold that. You just sold that one, <laughs> yeah. right? Or yeah. you have it, but it's in fucking green. No one wants a fucking green car. Yeah. So you're like, okay, what is it going to be? And then they go, you know what, sir? We don't have this one, but let me show you what just came in. And, I, and I, in my mind, I you're go, like, let me guess. The most expensive Silverado on this fucking lot. Yeah. And guess what? They take me to some crazy fucking limited edition one. Yeah. And then that's like almost five times the price, right? Right. And you're like, God damn it. Yeah. And I go, God damn it. <clears throat> and then uh, and then I'm go, I go, let me guess. He wants me to drive it. So I get married to it. Because the, the chances are, I think whatever the percentage is, like Yeah, once you interact with it, even with clothes, nothing, as soon as you touch it, yeah. like now you're subconsciously it, you want it because you've yeah, it, go, it goes from intimate. like a one out of 10 chance to yeah. like one out of two chance of buying it. Yeah. So, okay, fuck it. I'm going to do it anyways because he told me to and I actually like this car. Yeah. So I go and drive it and then now I'm in love with it. You're emotionally attached to it yeah. now. Yeah, and then now what, now what they do, I'm going, okay, cool. Now let's talk the price. Can we bring it down? I tell them the, the original budget I had. And you know what they do? They go, I go, let me guess. You're going to take me to some other fucking shitty Silverado because you just showed me this one and there's going to be a huge difference. And I don't even want the one that I originally came for anymore. Yeah. And I go and look at that one and you're like, fuck. Because even when you buy homes and they take you to the show home. Yeah. Then they take you to the one you're supposed to buy. Yeah. You're like, you're like, I don't want God this. damn it. Yeah. And then so in the beginning, they go, um, would you be interested in any upgrades? And you're like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do all the interior design shit myself. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. But after you see the show home, they go. So I just want to revisit that question. Um, would you be interested in any upgrades? Like, give me all the fucking upgrades, Dan, because fucking I saw that house. It was so dope. Yeah, because if you've been thinking about it and you slept on it and you're like imagining yourself living in it and interacting with it, and and you're like, you of course I want up. this. So they always do that. Yeah. But, you know, speaking about money and like spending and saving, I do want to introduce our first sponsor, Honey, Woo. that helps you save money. It's this simple plugin that just takes a few seconds to honestly just go download it stays in um what is it that the bar like you know your search bar yeah like you know how you can like save all your favorite pages yeah just That's leave bookmarked. it bookmarked bookmarked thank yeah. you <laughs> when i think of that um it saves it so now when you're shopping whether that be a car shoes Glasses. jewelry you name it anything that you're shopping for online it automatically starts looking for discount codes yeah or for discounts or ways to help you save money which i absolutely love because i do i love that i live in a day and age now where i can do complete business and buy anything that i, want. I was about to buy a tesla on my phone yeah like i love that stuff so um yeah if you're someone like me who constantly buys everything online you do want to save money. It's, I mean, who doesn't want to save a few hundred bucks, maybe even a year, maybe even a month, depending Especially on what you're, you're getting. if you could buy more with the same amount of money. Exactly. Like, do you want to buy two things with like a hundred bucks? Or yeah. you can buy like three or four things if you just shop the right way. Yeah, exactly. But when, uh, at least before I knew that Honey existed, I would like leave that open, open up a new, like whatever page I was about to uh, check out from, open up a new tab and then go to Google search and be like, discount codes for whatever it is that I'm buying. Like... I don't know, these leggings, this name brand leggings. And then I would have to go there and it gives me multiple sites of like potential, what is it, codes. And then I go there and I have to like copy and paste. And then when I bring it back to the original tab, you see how exhausting this shit is? Yeah. Uh, then I plug it in and it goes, sorry, that code expired or whatever. Honey cuts all that crap out, saves you so much time in addition to the money. And it already starts plugging it for you. It already tells you this is how much you're gonna save. But the thing that I also love is when it doesn't find the code online for you and it doesn't have a discount code, then it says, hey, do you just want to bookmark this this particular product so that when it does uh, go on sale, then we'll notify you about it. That's dope. It is dope because then it's like maybe you're not like you've been thinking about buying this thing, but because it might be out of your price range or whatever, uh, you're like, I'm going to hold off a little bit. So you can do that. Have it notify you and you start saving a ton of money. So you guys have nothing to lose and everything to gain, honestly, when you use Honey. Um, so make sure to go to joinhoney.com slash bail, B-E-A-W, to get it for free, you guys. Again, that's joinhoney.com slash bail, B-E-A-W, and join and start saving money, y'all. But yeah, I hate all those, all those things, um, all those like tactics and stuff, but I can see why they work because everyone has like their goal right like the salespeople, like they're trying to make their commission the people that are manufacturing the cars like they want to get their money back yeah. you know what i mean so i get it 
And I, I mean, it, what do you think about statistics? Like um, recently, I hate it. I fucking hate it. I hate math. I hate numbers. I hate yeah. statistics. Because like you know, recently there's when we we're watching Ozark, uh, Jason Bateman, he says this one thing, and I and I found it really interesting because it's so true. Like everyone thinks they're unique, right? Everyone thinks they have free will. Except for me, because I'm like, I'm fucking average as fuck. Okay. So you don't think you're unique at all? Not really. Do you think you make choices that are different than other people? No. That's so why I think I'm pretty average. Okay. So you're already part of the statistic. <laughs> like, So you are a statistic, right? Okay. Um, for other people that think they're unique and they think they um, make different choices and they're rebellious or whatever, and they think they have free will, my life is in my hands. I really understand that from a personal individualistic point of view, because I also feel that way, right? Do you feel like you're pretty unique? No, I feel like I have free will and I could do what I want. And yeah. don't tell me how to live my life. Um, I know how I'm going to live my That's life. That's just not even the reality though. Right? But uh, a statistician will go and go, I'll tell you how you're going to live your life. Yeah. They'll go, I know that 30% of people crashed your cars when they're 15. Right. I know 20% of this does this. I know 10% of this. And then you're like. And then insurance was born. Yeah. And then you're like, fuck you. I'm, I'm going to do shit. I know how to do shit on my own. So it, what I really. Like, we already calculated that you're going to be doing that. Yeah. So like in Ozark, <laughs> what I liked about it is when he was saying, when he's dealing one-on-one, that's like the most unpredictable shit ever because that is people of free will does kick in. It's really hard to predict. But he was trying to catch the bad guys in the casino and he goes, everyone behaves the same. Behavior in a mass group is extremely predictable. And because you have the statistics, right? Like 30% of people are whatever, like 10% of all the shoppers that come in are going to steal. So if you just put that 10% margin into whatever your products are, then even if there's theft, you already covered that stuff, right? So I guess the part to me that's interesting, it's as unique as we think we are, we all end up doing the same shit. Well, yeah, I mean, because we all have the same brain. I mean, and this is also like, we can go into like, you know, there there are people that have some sort of chemical imbalance or some sort of mental disorder. Those are like outliers for me. And that's- but those are even calculated for. Like they're like uh um three percent of people have are gonna be bipolar two yeah. percent of a hundred people are gonna be schizophrenic like all of those a lot of those stats are are covered you know yeah and then so it just to me that stuff is is crazy because we have the whole free will you know uh concept and then we have another concept where like we're actually not that different and we all end up doing the same shit anyways yeah so you know in a way like you know tying it back i guess to like government and stuff should we even be allowed to vote if we kind of already know what the outcome of the vote is damn dog you brought that shit deep well, what you you, you, you you talked about conspiracy and like percentages and no nah, bro people. we were t- we were just talking about so i was just like whoa what about that yeah that is that's i mean that's a good point right but I don't know, because then is that like, are these statistics applicable to people in specific areas? You know you what I mean? You can narrow like, is that a, down too. Like is a, is a person- Your sample group, sample size is geographical. You, you can cut, narrow it down by age. You could do all that. Yeah. You can cut all that out. Yeah. You know, like for me, I'm like, when I hear two politicians argue about some shit, I'm like, I don't give a fuck about your opinions. What do the stats say? And yeah. then let's go based off those stats versus people like uh, arguing about some dumb shit. Yeah, that makes me sad. <laughs> that makes me sad to think that like, um, like, yeah, people already like it's our it's already kind of preconceived and, and it's like or there's a way to like control it to become to have the outcome that you want. Right. So like a very simple example would be like 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 marketers. Right. Like they know that the cereal is targeted for kids. So now what can we do to position it in every aspect of the word position? so that we sell it to specifically our demographic, which are these kids. So then it's like, oh, um, something as simple as, hey, grocery store that's gonna hold our product, um, make sure to put it in the lower aisles because that's usually about the height of the kids that are gonna wanna buy it, you know? So it's already yeah. like predetermined and preconceived that like you're gonna get exposed to this, therefore you're gonna want it. Yeah. And it's like, they just created this want and this need for you. And it's like, damn, did you ever really have a choice? And now it's like, that's one of the conspiracies, right? Where they say like the government's really trying to control us through like whatever we watch. Like that's all, that's like been this old ass conspiracy before. And that's also even the chicken or the egg where is the government trying to control us with what they want? 
or is it they already know what we want so they're giving it to us more mm. you know what i mean yeah who knows that's why people like you and people like joe that are fucking crazy insane what? <laughs> y'all are insane people. how am i insane you guys just don't think the same way yeah. i mean uh, me and joe are different people yeah. we're not gonna think no, no, the no. same the, Duh. The, not the same not to twins. each other. Not the same to each other. I know. I, was and I like how in your world, twins think the exact same. They should be. <laughs> um, But you guys are so like. I heard unique. twins are broken if they don't think the same. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, twins, can you guys hit us up and let us know if that's the truth? No, it's, that's, it's called a twin disorder. You just. I love when I love when you lie. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. I learned about these things. I like when it get the words get stuck in the back of your throat. because like, No, it's ten, twin disorder for, for reals. <laughs> you're dumb um yeah you guys are just so odd you guys are just so odd what's so odd about me or joe well what joe's odd it? i know i know for sure but what about me you're fucking odd what are you talking about you're always like i don't even know you say so many odd things in a day that i'm just like so used to the the bard the barded oddities bardities that's what i'm used to yeah so i don't know if these stats and stuff apply to you they they sure do that's sad. I don't want to know that. I want to know that like they don't know my buying patterns and what I'm going to do. But that's how they maximize and they take advantage of you. Like, you know, my freaking uh, Mike Tyson Supreme shirt. Yeah. They knew I was going to buy that shit. That's how they put that ad I on know. my Instagram. So when I saw it and I'm like, what? 1999 for Supreme? I'm going to get that what shirt. What type of ads do you receive? That says a lot about a person. What type of ads do you get? They're uh, weird right now. So really? mine are pretty like spot on on your shit. Yeah. And I hate it. <laughs> so mine these days, it's constantly have you served in the military 2000, whatever to whatever. That right? fucking odd, and it's weirdo? like, and it's these, like, have you, have you have hearing loss? You're three, like, uh, let's file. Uh, what, what are those things called? Where it's like everyone sues someone at the same uh, time. Uh, clash act. Yeah. Class action. Like lawsuit. you want to join class action loss and get money. That's not, how's that odd? You can't hear for shit. That's why you're wearing the headphones and I'm not. <laughs> 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 like you, you are prior military. Like, how is it odd? Give me an odd one. Cause it's, it's not, I'm not even going to buy anything. It's not like, oh cool. Look at these new. But based on your pad, <laughs> check out these new fucking knee pads or something. No. What are they? The hearing, hearing aids. aids. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like it's, uh, I get that a lot. Like almost every five pictures I get that. The and hearing then, aids? No, the three, like the class action lawsuit thing. Oh. And then the other ad that I keep getting now is uh, speech for kids. Mm. Like speech classes. Like, oh, is your two-year-old too dumb to speak still? Take the, well, maybe like, because you have a two-year-old. But how does my phone know these things? I'm, I haven't bought, I don't buy any of our baby products. You buy all the baby products. How does it know these Because you probably search for things. Or you click around for like things. Yeah, but my shit is fucking random. Maybe every time you post for Taika's pictures... Like every time he posts on his thing, they, they've already calculated that he's a baby. But that's on his Instagram. So I, I make sense. If I'm on his Instagram, I see that ad. Yeah. I see it on my ad. Yeah. On my Instagram. Because you're a parent. You're a dad. You call yourself a dad. I don't ever say I'm a dad. Do I? What the fuck? You always say you're a dad. I could pull up the... Let me see your most recent picture. My most recent one? It's yeah. probably some sick ass picture. Oh, I think it's you training. But let me see a picture. Let me see. Bar... It's me. It's me on. It's me wearing sandals next to the pool. It's a barbell, barbell post. Yeah, but you look like you're calling to Taika. I'm not fine. There's this one where you, where you. I mean, you didn't call yourself a dad. Exactly. But it's not off. So it's how do they off. know? It's you think they're off. listening to our conversation? I like think the, so, like man. Like the conspiracy people, they go the, your phone and it's constantly listening. If your phone's on, it's listening. to I you. think so. I really do think so. You really do. I do because there's times that we've talked about. So um, I remember we were in the car with Casey. That was the craziest time. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna tell you guys what I was talking about. No, say what? what the hell? <laughs> I know, fucking around. Um, so there was this time that uh. We were all in the car for however we were going and Casey was there and Casey suffers. I don't know. I guess it is a suffering, but uh, from eczema. So he's always like itchy, dry, flaky skin. Even if he can't suffer from it, Casey suffers from it. He yeah. has it really bad. Yeah. And I've never I've never had that. Like I've never talked about it. I don't search about anything for that. But because we were having a conversation in the car. Guess what? As soon as I went on my Instagram, lo and behold, there was an ad for eczema and it was crazy. It was like eczema cream. And I'm like, what the fuck? And it was the same day, too. It wasn't like 
a few days later, it was like almost instant. So yeah. as soon as I picked up my phone within like five to 10 minutes, it was like an ad for it. And I'm like, what the fuck? This is wild. Yeah. It's kind of scary, man. What are the ads that you get? My ads are actually pretty cool. Really? So I get like Tony Robbins stuff. Cause I mean, I've attended Tony Robbins events. Yeah. So like, obviously they're trying to have you attend all the other classes. I get yeah. that. Um, I get a lot of masterclass stuff and it got me because I, I get love masterclass on YouTube a lot. Not on Instagram. Oh, I get it on Instagram all the time. And that's why I actually bought <laughs> the MasterClass so it works on you. premium. Yeah. Not always. No, like that's the first time I've ever bought anything from a Instagram ad. And this is something uh, that I've been eyeing for a minute anyway. Yeah. Because I've seen it on Facebook. I've seen it everywhere. Yeah. And um, yeah, like like they have Usher. They have, um, what's his name? Gordon Ramsay. They have... Um, uh, Bob Iger, like they have like the top of the top people in their fucking field, you know? Yeah. So of course I'm just going to be like, damn, I do want to learn how they, you know, got to where they got. I want to take the masterclass where uh, Joe Exotic teaches you how to seduce dudes. <laughs> Dude, that is fucking, I think all you need is meth. <laughs> <laughs> meth uh, yes. You just need meth, yeah. man. You want meth and tigers? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm in. <laughs> That's true. I'm like, take my butthole. It's fine. Dude, did you see the, what? Did you see? No, okay, I got you. Dude. Yeah, 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 get you. Did you see the meme that it was like, uh, like you know when kids they want like the name brand thing, yeah. But if you are like struggling for money, then you tell the kid like, no, we got that shit at home, and it's like the bootleg version of it. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like if you want a McDonald's burger, it's like no, we got burgers at home. But yeah. it's like it's not a McDonald's burger, mom. Yeah. And then they have uh, so the meme says, hey mom, can we have a a Batista? A Dave Batista. Yeah, a David B Batista. And then the mom goes. No, we got a Dave Batista at home. So they show you a picture of David Batista, yeah. and then they show you the the side by side of the 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 boyfriend that's missing teeth. Yeah, and I'm like, he does look like a bootleg version of him, like crazy. Yeah, he does look like the home the fucking home hamburger. Yeah, dude, I miss fucking home hamburgers. Can we make some? I think huh? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that's why I made you a donut. Aren't you are you still hungry? Who the fuck says I made you a donut? You didn't make me shit. I did make it. How did you make it? I put it in the microwave and I hit the buttons. That's not making it. You fucking warmed it up. Oh, you're so dumb. I did make them. I'm dumb. You're yeah. calling yourself a fucking donutier. I didn't say I invented the donut. No, I didn't say you did either. Well, you said you added the tier. I didn't say a donutologist. What did you say? Donutier. Donut yeah, those are the ones that make it. No, I'm a donut ook. When you say dumb shit, <laughs> yeah. it's funny because you have like very specific and sharp, aggressive head movements. No, I don't. Okay, well, I stare at you and I'm telling you that you do. Uh, and now that you have these headphones on, yeah. makes your head even bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it just looks fucking comical. Man. <laughs> you look like a fucking... I'm tired of your you're, ass. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You've been stuck with me for what? A month now. I mean, obviously... What do you mean? I've been stuck with you for like 10 years. <laughs> but I mean, you can't escape it's my ass. It's 12 years this year. Fine. Oh my God. Yeah. I My head just stops at 10 because I think it's a whole number, even though 12 is two. But it's like... It's like perfectly rounded and it just looks nice and yeah. it's 10. Yeah. So I, it just stops at 10. I think I refuse to want to mention 11 because it just, it's just not appealing. So I've always thought it was 10. So right now that you see 12, I'm like, holy shit, that's crazy. Yeah, I think I'm 12. probably just, can I just keep saying we've been together for 10 years? Go ahead. Fine. If you want to be inaccurate. Fine. I'll say 15 then. That's still inaccurate. It is, but I don't really care. I just want it convenient for my brain memory. Damn. Are you that dumb? No, I think I'm just running out of fucking bandwidth in my mind. Why? I don't know. I don't know if it's like maybe I'm like, maybe your Instagram knew that you're running out of bandwidth. That's why it's giving you master classes so you can get smarter. They're like, damn, this bitch is fucking dumb. Look at the shit she looks at. <laughs> <laughs> no, all my stuff is really cool though. Not to Instagram, it's not. I don't get fucking supreme. That's no, some fucking dumb shit. No, because my shit is your this guy's way too smart. Let's give him, let's dumb him down. No, that's like this guy won't comprehend a master's class. Let's give no, him the fucking no, for yours, low hanging fruit. For yours, Supreme. Yours, no, for yours, it's like, <laughs> damn, this bitch is fucking dumb. She's losing her brain cells. She can't remember shit. It's not. Because it, it's listening to all that stuff right now. And it's like, let's help get her smart. For mine, they go, okay, this guy's for sure is not going to buy this. Yeah. Because all the AI, they, they track how you are and what your tendency is. And they're like, okay, this guy obviously doesn't need master class. He needs Supreme shirts. That doesn't even make any sense. That's what AI does. You know, on Facebook, like all your likes and stuff. Okay, this guy likes Nirvana. This guy likes peanuts. This guy likes whatever. Then you're going to start seeing ads for that kind of stuff. No, yeah, I get it. But I'm just saying that's just not what it did for me. It probably saw all the dumb shit you look at. No. 
And I don't like, look at any dumb shit. Yeah, they're, just, they're probably like, okay, this bitch likes to watch fucking videos of people cleaning shit and fucking steaming <laughs> Oh my God, carpets. I fucking love like, that. They, all this girl watches. That's not dumb. That's fucking, oddly satisfying. It's fucking carpets being steamed. <laughs> and like, I love it windows, so much. Windows being squeegeed. Oh my God, like when they go. <laughs> I'm surprised oh, you don't I have. Oh, I love it. I'm surprised you don't uh, have ads like about squeegees and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. Did you know what I looked up the other day? This what? week, actually. What? I looked up a fucking pa- uh, uh, a steam like the carpet steamers. Uh, how much are those? A residential one? Uh, well, okay. So I looked for like the cheaper ones, and those are like a few hundred bucks, like nothing ridiculous. They probably don't even work. Exactly. So then I was like, let me get the fucking industrial grade, the fucking ugly metal looking ones. What brand is that? I don't know. Is I didn't even. Abyssal? I didn't get that far because then it reminded me of how ridiculous you are and how ridiculous you look. What are you talking about? How am I ridiculous? Did I just stop? How am I'm I like, ridiculous? Because I'm like, I'm wasting my fucking time. Let me go back to playing Best Fiends. <laughs> <laughs> how am I ridiculous? Because your stupid ass right now just was like, is it Abyssal? Do you know the name brand? And I'm like, you're fucking lame, bro. No, because I want to know what how dope that shit. You know me. It's I love, very dope. I fuck. You know what I was looking at yesterday <laughs> that I couldn't find. Can I guess what? Can 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 I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Um, can you give me like kind of like a realm of what to look at? Because you, you look at very crazy shit. It belongs in the kitchen. Uh, you were looking at, um, you were looking at a mixer. What for like DJs? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So a fucking DJ mixer belongs in the kitchen, you dumbass. I don't know how your crazy brain works. I don't. Well, now I know how your fucking dumbass crazy brain works. A mixer when you're like baking or like you're mixing things, you know, like the electrical mixers. And sometimes yeah. they have the industrial grade ones where yeah. it's like a big bowl and it has the mixer and you just put the ingredients and no, it mixes it's not it for a mixer. you. Okay, yeah, I don't that's bake, too normal. Duh. You don't have to bake. Duh. It's just to mix anything. You freaking schmuck. The only thing I'm mixing is music. <laughs> oh yeah can i hear one of your latest tracks i'll play it right after <laughs> it's the salty lady is Peach. it about me <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah anyway what were you looking at <laughs> <laughs> i was looking at steak presses what is that you know when you go to like the uh like you know when you go to those mom and pop burger joints the kind that sell tacos and like a, ch- a whole chicken and some burgers like the hat like, like places like that mm-hmm. When they're cooking burgers or steaks, you know how they put it on the side and they have that metal thing that's on it. Oh, uh-huh. so that way the 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 burger is are perfectly like seared on one side, or the steak is perfectly seared, or um, even like buns. Buns are perfectly toasted on one side, like in and out. They'll put it on the buns. What were you gonna use it for decor? No, I was gonna use it to cook with. Like when we make, we don't steaks have anything stuff. big enough. No, you just it's only like this big, and you just sit it on it. Yeah, because one thing I guess I've seen it at the pantry. Oh, I miss yeah, that yeah. place. So like, I miss restaurants. I know I do miss restaurants. I miss eating out because, like, you know, for me, like, since I'm a big steak person, one thing that's annoying to me because I do it so much is I hate it when I cut my steak open, and one side of it is medium and the other side is medium rare. And so like, first, Ugh. fucking. Oh my God, your fucking first world problems. So I'm are like, insane. I need it to be even. So I want it to just. I want it to be like, I just cook it, put it there. Boohoo, and Bart. And that way when I cut His it. His big, fat, meaty steak. Just, it's not, <laughs> it's not evenly cooked. Hmm. Hey, I got to give it back to you. That's why Instagram you marketed me the fucking Supreme shirt because they know how much sadness I go through with you. I heard of all you <laughs> fucking making fun of me. They're like, damn, this guy needs some more joy in his life. Supreme. No, because they just know that you're deaf as fuck. And they're just like trolling you. And they're like, that's probably the shit that he hears. Nope. Because you do have a minor lisp. I do? Yeah. You've never heard it? I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I fucking miss you don't have a lisp. Um, I I I have a like for people that don't know me that well and like I've built enough rapport, like sometimes I get bored and I just want to fuck with them a little bit. Yeah. And then I'll start telling them that they're like a little bit cross eyed or they have a lazy eye or they have like they pronounce a certain word kind of funny and then they start they're like, Really? I never heard it. I'm like, Yeah, dude. All right, so introducing our next sponsor, one of my personal favorites, Grove Collaborative. I absolutely love Grove. Uh, It is an online marketplace that delivers all natural home, beauty, and personal care products directly to your door. Like you never have to leave your house, you go online, you look at all the things that you need. Uh, you talk about dish soap. You can talk about, um, I've ordered collagen. Um, I have a, a dental, what is it? Toothpaste for my dog I've bought there, dog food. You name it, I, it's they have it. 
Um, and I absolutely love that. Um, I get to be, I, I feel guilt free and I feel like I'm supporting this beautiful planet that I live on by not adding more unnecessary chemicals to it. And that now I have a kid, um, I, I feel that I'm like giving him the best and most natural environment for him to like thrive in. Um, so yeah, like I said, you just go online, you never leave the comfort of your own home. And also Papa, did you know, um, when surveyed, 70% of people want to use natural products, but only 2% do. Really? Why? Uh, where would you think of to find natural products? It's hard, right? Yeah, honestly, I don't so even know. So that's exactly what, that's the void that Grove Collaborative is trying to fill. They're trying to say like, hey, why is it so hard? Here you go. We're going to make it easy for you. For a limited time, you guys, uh, go to uh, grove.co slash bear and you guys are going to get free five-piece cleaning set for Mrs. Myers and Grove. Uh, and that's a $30 value. So again, go to grove.co slash bear. You know what I realized yesterday? I was looking at uh, one of the barbell photos of Fawn. She has a lazy eye. No, she doesn't. She looks like this. No, she does not. Not even close. They were looking she's so at opposite, perfect. opposite sides. No. I'll show you this picture. It's not, it's not she has a lazy eye. She's just that scared that she learned how to like move her eyes independently from each other. No, I'm thinking maybe that's why she's scared because she sees too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, leave her alone. If you can see the left and your right side. Saw, it's, you guys posted it, right? Uh, no, no, no. It's in our Dropbox. Oh, no. She does not have I'll show it. you after. I stare at her so much because like she's so perfect. She's so perfect. What about she's the so, clump like, of eye symmetrical. boogers in the corner of her eye? You think that's perfect too? <laughs> that's perfectly clumped in the corner, yes. She's so perfect. Like she's just very symmetrical. But what about her fucking breath? Is that symmetrical? <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. She just has old mouth. Because like I, I, I want to give her so much affection. And every time I go and hug her and I pet her, and she starts getting happy. So she goes, <laughs> and I'm like, this is why I don't fucking pet you. And I go away. <laughs> Dude, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, who do you think you are? You're the guy that fucking sticks his finger up his butthole to clean it. Or what? picks up dog shit with his fucking. You know how hygienic that sounds? Pick, pick, I don't know anyone else that cleans their butthole the way I do. How do you clean your butthole? Um, the way the fucking rest of the world cleans. How do you butthole. know? Do you, you you watch their videos? Yeah. You watch their fucking butthole cleaning TikToks. Hey, yes, I really do. Which which butthole cleaning TikToks? I'm your not favorite? gonna tell you because then you're gonna want to copy, and I want you to be the. How do you clean your butthole? Out. How do you clean your butthole? With soap, and then I have special soap. What do you do? Just you just gently just clean the. Definitely not gently, but I'm not going fucking balls to the walls. I don't go balls to the walls. My balls you say stay it exactly bleeds a little bit. Are. You say it bleeds a little bit. Oh, that's when you're wiping. When your I'm butt. wiping. How Fine. do you clean your butthole? This is my butthole. What do you do? I go like that. And so then she I go cleans, like that. She's only cleaning just the outside, guys. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> she only cleans just the outside, you guys. Let's judge her. Fucking dirty. Yeah, go, everyone keep goes, going. Keep going. Everyone listening going, yeah, fucking weird bar. I'm not fingering this my asshole I like I you. I go like this. It's because you like it. And I go like this. Yeah, and I you, get at least one knuckle in and I go like this. That's fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> and then if I'm in the shower and my butt itches, I kind of scratch it. Off. <laughs> I don't know why my butt has been itchy for like two years now. Because you fucking have butt worms. I do I? Yeah. What's butt worms? Uh, they're like ringworms, but it's only for like your anus. Ringworms. Yeah, for your for your anus. What do you mean? You ever heard of butt worms? What the fuck are butt worms? It's like ringworm, but it's specifically in the fucking What's, anus. Do you even know what ringworm is? What's ringworm? It's not an actual worm. What is it's it? It's fucking bacteria. No, it's not bacteria. It's a fungus. Okay. Yeah. So so sorry this... I fucking said it wrong. Okay, wow, how... whoop did he fucking do that? No, so you're that kid. No, so I already know that. No, you don't even know what you're talking about. You're a fucking bully, dude. I already know what you don't know don't what you're talking about. Don't bully me. <laughs> so, butt, so butt worms is a fungus? Yeah. What do I do? Sit on a mushroom? I don't know what you did. Then it's probably because you're it? fingering your butthole. No. You probably didn't wash your hands before you started fingering then your butthole. Then how come I don't have butt worm hey, on my you, fingers? Did you You know how you have an itchy ass sometimes? Because sometimes you just don't wipe your butt correctly? No. I always wipe my ass correctly and I still get Even itchy ass. Even as a ass. kid? Oh, like when I was a kid? Yeah. No, I remember I remember there's times where like my, uh, I remember getting hella skid marks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> remember those? <laughs> I didn't remember having hella skid marks. I don't remember. Maybe I did. But I do remember having an itchy butt like as a little kid and like oh, girl yeah, underwear, yeah. girl underwear, like they're um, thinner. They're like silkier. Yeah. And yeah. it's super thin. So it's not like cotton. They're kind of like boxers, but with like a like a more sleek, silkier 
thinner material. Yeah. And I, this is the first time I discovered that, like, why you have an itchy butt. So then I'm like, damn, why does my butthole itch? And I'm probably like in elementary school. What'd you do? You tried to like. I scratched it. No. In the chair? No, I scratched my butt. Straight up in the class? You just stuck your hand who, in there? Who the fuck said I was in class? That's your own imagination. Where were you? At home. Oh. <laughs> You said straight up in class, like I told you. Don't fill in the blanks. Oh, fuck. Just listen. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, you're horrendous. Um, you're a wench. <laughs> fuck you. You're the one that said you had multiple times that you had skid marks and you're judging me? No, you had skid marks too. You just didn't even know. Okay, you're making these things up. I'm not going to share my story with Fine, you. You're me, fucking tell annoying. Me, tell me your story. Yeah. What were you doing at home? Who cares? I was just lounging around. I was I, watching what TV doing lounging around. Oh, okay. Um, and so then I, I scratch it, right? But I scratch it over my underwear. So okay. I scratch Amateur. it. Yeah. And then it's kind of like wet a little bit. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like, like lumpy and clumpy or whatever. Like it was just that like been moist. Better. Yeah. The hell no. That would have been disgusting. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't know what's going on down there. Then, well, then don't give your opinion. Just listen. Okay. Go. <laughs> what? This um, is live commentary. <laughs> you're the sport i'm the sports commentator tell me about this yeah, asshole been, play you have you've been drinking too much and you're just not even following along you're making up I your am. own plays you're like and touchdown and they're like bro they just they just fucking punted the ball no you've been fucking scratching your ass okay i'm following um yeah so then i go to scratch it it's a little bit wet and i'm like hmm i wonder and then i smell it and i'm like oh what the fuck i, I bet you smelled it twice didn't you <laughs> oh, yeah yeah i was gonna get to that i don't know what it is with he fucking humans, we're, this is a fucking primate side, primate side of us. Yeah. Uh, we're like, as soon as you smell it once, like, it's disgusting. And you're like, I can't believe it's that bad. <laughs> Let me smell it again. So, yeah. And like, and like, as juice just doesn't come off right away. Like, you can wash your hands and it still kind of lingers a little bit. Yeah. At least my you ass have, juice You have to do. lick it. Hell no. <laughs> you're guy. supposed to spit on it. You're supposed yeah. to. Mm -hmm. So, you don't want to put it on. You licked your finger after you, sc you scratched your butt. No, you spit on your finger. No, you said put it in your mouth. You lick it. Some people. You're a fucking weird, weird man. I don't know how the Chinese people do this shit. You know who I think actually how where Corona came from? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't want to get canceled, right? We, no, no, we won't. We got we got bills to pay. I don't want to hear. We're just we're just gonna move on. We're just gonna move I, on. I, I think I know where COVID nineteen really came from. I don't want to know. Okay, fine. I won't tell you then. <laughs> anyway move it on so that's it you're just gonna tell me that you fucking scratched your wet ass i don't even know why we want why we got there you never had skid marks i remember i would pull down my gi joe underwear like my ass would itch like crazy right and i pull down my underwear and there'd just be straight up marks there i'm like oh god and so my mom would see that and then i guess she got tired of uh like scrub you know back in the day like washing machines don't work that good so like everything you kind of have to pre-soak, pre-wash. So when she saw it, like well, I don't she, think it's that they don't work that good. I think it's when you're, when you're, um, when you have straight up dookie, <laughs> it just doesn't come out. Of <laughs> no, it's like when you're like on a budget. You know what I mean? Like you want to make things last longer. Oh, okay. So my mom would teach me how to like pre-soak my underwear, uh, before we threw it in the wash, or else the skid marks just won't come out. And I'm like, damn. So I'm trying to like figure out how to not get skid marks. You had GI Joe underwear. Mm hmm. Damn, I thought you guys were on a budget. We didn't have shit like that anyway. Go on. Oh, we were. We were really on a budget. And then, uh, yeah, but I always get these skid marks. And then I, I remember the moment I realized why I got skid marks. It's because, you know, when you're a kid, you just can't wait to go back to play. No. Oh, you don't have to have that feeling? No. Like, I would be watching TV and my mom goes, go take a shower, right? And I know the TV, the, the commercials are only like a minute or two. I would literally break up my showers. So I'm like, okay, I have to wash my hair and I have to wash my body. So the first thing I do, I run in the shower, I get all wet, and then I would uh, just shampoo my head. And then um, I would keep my ear to the TV and I would run back out and I just have straight up foam on my head. So I could keep watching that last part. And I'm kind of shivering too because my body's still cold. <laughs> I'm like this. And, and then I have like <laughs> soap in my hair. No wonder you get your ass beat. Like I get it every time. <laughs> and, then, and then when it's the next commercial, I go back and I rinse that off and I apply soap. So I come back and you know when soap starts drying, it gets really itchy. <laughs> so I'm watching a TV no, show. I've never I'm like watching a TV show going like this, which is fucking soap. Like a fucking crackhead. Yeah. And then I run back and I so I break up my shower into like three or four parts. How annoying. Because I because I want I want to stay glued to the thing, like to whatever the fun thing is. And I think that's how I got the skid marks. Cause like if I'm playing, I don't want to spend all the time wiping my ass clean. So I just do like a real quick pop pop. And then that's 
it, it might not have been enough, you know? And then so like I have like this itchy ass and then my have skid marks all over the place. I can't wait till I see Tekka's skid marks. Why? Because it's cute. It is cute. Yeah, to know that he's got shit butt. You know, and you're just like. Do you think it's cute right now when you're changing his diaper? You see a pile of shit right there. <laughs> no, you know he's fucking. He has jokes. He understands humor. A lot. Cause I go, cause I go, ew, yucky, caca, you're gross, right? I'm like that is gross. Cause I really want him to feel like it's nasty, so that I don't want to shame him, and I probably am, um, but I just want him to know that like poop Caca's is bad. Yucky, yeah. Yeah. So I go, oh, yucky, and he goes, mm, yummy, mm. <laughs> and I'm like, you want to eat it? He goes, no. Then I'm like, it's yucky. He goes, nah, uh, yummy. Mm. And I'm like, you're funny, dude. You're a funny guy. He's a funny little guy. How do you know he has a lot of jokes? Just like the way he uh, plays around. Like, you know, the the video, uh, shout out to Mudda Cuny um, on Instagram. But they cut that one video because I was filming him where he's like lining up all his fruits. And oh, then yeah. I'm oh, like, yeah. what's that one? He goes, green a- apple. What's that one? Red, Red a- apple. I'm like, what's that? He, goes, he got bored at that point. He goes, orange. He goes, orange. Orange. <laughs> And I'm like, what about that one? He goes, pineapple. <laughs> so, yeah. he, I think he just gets bored. Yeah, real so he quick. just likes fucking around. The what was funny is the part because that was the second time I, when you was saying it when I recorded it. The uh, first time when I was recording it, I was like, "What's that?" And he goes, "Apple." I'm like, "What's that?" And he goes, "Orange." And I'm like, "What's that?" And he goes, "Pineapple." And I'm like, "Oh, let me see it." And he picks it up and he goes, "Oh fuck, it's heavy." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If- <laughs> so that was what I was actually trying to get on camera because it was just so hilarious. But then he ended up change- switching it on me. He goes, I to- orange. <laughs> that even better That's why I asked him about the pineapple. I'm like, is it heavy? Oh, okay. Because I was okay. trying to get him to say it the second time. You're the so, worst. Because it get- caught me so He's off saying guard. it so much now and he says it casually, like more casually and comfortably than before. So before he'd be like, oh, 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 fuck. But now he just, he's chilling. He goes, oh, fuck. And I'm like, oh, shit. yeah, so now I have to tell him, I'm like, don't say that word. Fuck is bad. Don't say fuck. But I think the more you, yeah, when you say, don't say fuck, fuck is bad. Don't fucking say fuck. I don't say don't fucking say fuck. Yeah, I heard you say it last time. I don't say don't fucking say fuck. No, because he was like, I just oh. say don't say Cause fuck. Because he was like, oh, fuck. And you're like, fuck you. Don't fucking say fuck. I do not say fuck you. And then he was like, fuck, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, you're fucking welcome. Or you're fucking, it's okay. No, I don't say it like that. But yeah, I've been telling him like, it's bad. Like, you know how long, I mean, this is so fucking exaggerated, but I'm like, do you know how long it took for him to stop saying puto? <laughs> he barely says it anymore, huh? He doesn't say it at all. He's just in a phase. Yeah. I was actually scared because, you know, he's learning his planets. So I was scared he's going to like, like Pluto. It's not a planet, bro. Is that? No. Oh, well. Where the hell were you? They, they took it out? Yes. What the fuck? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's not a planet. Oh, man. Because it's Mars, Venus, Neptune. Um, what? I thought Neptune's way back there. Way back there as a planet? No, away from the sun. Are you naming in the order of from the sun to wherever? No, or? what the fuck? I'm just naming planets, you fucking geek. You're Are fucking you naming geek. them from the order of the fucking... <laughs> Who the fuck goes like this? Hey, do you know your alphabet? H, C, Y, T. That's what no. you're saying. No, I'm not. You usually go, hey, you know your alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What the fuck are you talking about right now? If you're naming the planets. No, I was naming gonna, the fruit the way Taika was. You're gonna red name, apple, orange yeah, apple. And guess what? He names it from left to right or right to left. He doesn't just start fucking randomizing his his, his fruit choices. No, because he's just going off the fucking dome. What are you talking? You're so fucking geeky, dude. You're geeky. You just started randomly pick planets. Yeah, because I'm a bad bitch. I'm, yeah, a fucking, that's what I'm, ba- I'm a bad girl. That's what I'm saying. I so like you like to live alphabet, on the edge. Fucking J, W, Yeah, how boring a. is it? Don't be boring, baby. Don't be like everyone else. No, we all know Don't be boring. that we're all just a statistic and we actually are all the same. <laughs> oh, man. Fine. That's why I want to shave my head. Do it. Because 3% of girls want to <laughs> shave their head by the time they're fucking uh, in the mid 30s. They probably don't even call it shaving their head. They're probably like, they do a radical change so that they can't be wrong. Fuck these fucking. St- if you like statistics, fuck you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting this is really interesting it is it really is i wish i would have paid more attention because that's what all ai is built off of yeah you know is your patterns the percentages of, of how people work yeah how they move and that's how a lot of businesses like that rise to the top is that they can predict human behavior they go okay so tw- how boring is that though for the business or for people for the business i think for the business it's awesome Right, because there's just less variables. Like when people like can predict, like for example, like uh, you know, when when Blockbuster is around, right? Everyone went to go get Block. But I don't know what you're talking about, Boomer. God, when you know when these people used to go and rent like VHS, right? Yeah. 
Then there's a bunch of group of people that are like, I bet you there's like uh, at least 70% of people that are tired of this shit and they would rather have this service where you can get DVD sent to their home. And they tried that and it was eh, whatever. And then they're like, I bet you there's more than 70% that I'd rather just have all these online. And guess what? They understand human behavior and they created a service that was undeniable. And people loved it because they knew how to predict motherfuckers' behaviors. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah. I love it. And Do so you the- remember Netflix when you, there was the envelope system? Like your subscription would determine how many um, CDs or not CDs, but like how many movies because yeah. they weren't CDs. And you can you, have a month. And you wait for a movie for like three months and you come and scratch as a motherfucker and you can't even watch it. No, they were really good with quality with me. I got some scratched ass DVDs where I'm like, like you, you play it and it's like skipping scenes and shit. Oh, well, yeah, it's the Quan curse. I don't know. The Quan curse? I never heard of that. Did you just make that up? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> My bad. I'm also a Quan. Chill out. I just changed your look. Did? Yeah. And what's you know the Quan what curse? You know what else is lucky? What is what's what's the Quan curse? First tell God me. God damn it. Tell me what the Quan curse <laughs> Thanks is. for picking up on the cues. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Stop what playing foot What cues? We gotta go, motherfucker. What cues are you talking about? We gotta go. Where are we going? <laughs> We can't go anywhere. I hate you. We're locked down in this we thing. We got to go to the fucking, uh, to, to the kitchen, kitchenous, north kitchen. Where you have your fucking DJ mixer? Yeah. You're so weird, man. What? You're so weird. Anyway. I'm not weird. Any I'm last, like everyone any, else. Any closing? Ask the statistics guy. Fine. Any any closing thoughts? Mm-hmm. What is it? Let's hear the weird, weird fucking supreme shit you got to say. That, hey, it's not the strawberries' fault that the seeds are on the outside. <laughs> That's why my mom doesn't like strawberries. You know that? <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> we'll mom's that. fucking loco. <laughs> then we'll save that for another episode. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with our bullshit and our little banters. Also, thank you to our sponsor, Honey. Make sure to go to joinhoney.com slash beer to install it and start saving some money right now. Um, and shout outs to Barbell Brigade. Barbell Brigade got this green anorak that you probably can't get anymore because when we dropped it it sold out like crazy but thank you guys for all the love <laughs> but we're just gonna brag about it yeah i mean wear. this whole outerwear collection to kill thank you guys so much for supporting us really really awesome and it helps us enable us to make even more dope shit where we're yeah. coming out with we have yeah. a lot of really cool stuff so uh just to give you guys a sneak peek because we're working on it right now and you heard it here first um we got a strength stack coming out which is our own brand uh blend of creatine with a couple other ingredients that makes it better and then we have a multivitamin coming out. And then we have our performance greens, your daily serving of vegetables. And then we also have an immunity uh, supplement that's coming out for everyone that's trying to boost your immunity with vitamin C, B-complex vitamins. I need uh, all that. Yeah. So stay tuned for all that. Yeah. Thank you, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.